in this video tutorial i would like to explain how to work our laptop keyboard and its related problem so first of all we can understand how to design laptop keyboard and how it work so i have one keyboard and here there is a row and column so this row and column will be located in this area this row and column is connected on this cable so now how it work we will be understand it first of all we understand row and column matrix addressing so this one is a row this this one is a column so now here in particular line it's a address line so if a if i call it 1 so this particular section is a a1 address same way this one is a a this one is a 2 that means this one is a a2 address so when you put uh, when you push uh, some switch like uh, this address so laptop uh, this matrix line could be uh, send signal to our io controller io controller is a one controller and it's uh, located on our laptop motherboard and it's a microcontroller so this microcontroller will be uh, address this uh, particular number and it will be convert our data to our alphabet format and you can see that for format data on our screen so here how it work when you press this uh, key so a1 address will be pass out throughout this cable and it will be send data to our laptop motherboard so particular address have particular key so 101 key that means there is a particular 101 address located in our laptop motherboard microcontroller if your particular key is not working so how could be identify problem on keyboard so if your uh, particular key is not working like a q same way l p any of key if your it's a particular key is not working so that means it's a keyboard problem but if your particular row or column addressing are not, are not working like a in here it's located like here is a q a z 1 to 1 q a and z if your this four key is not working so that means it's a problem related this cable maybe related this cable and if your this four key is not working like a 1 2 3 and 4 same way q w e r that means it's your row cable problem in this case also you need to repair this keyboard with the cutting cable so how to cut cable so look here it's a carbon pad this one is a carbon pad when you put this cable in our laptop connector so, so that time it will be erase so need to contact new contact so how to connect a new contact so first of all you check this cable and cut it over the 1 mm not more than 1 mm otherwise this keyboard could not be work 
so here when you cut this cable like this so your new contact will made for connect to our keyboard connector so if your line is the uh, uh, carbon pad is a erase from here so that time you could be cut this cable like this and you can you can be connect your keyboard and you can check your problem will be uh, was uh, solved or not so here now we check what happen if your keyboard cable already cut and your keyboard does not work anymore so that time you need to clean laptop motherboard keyboard connector as well as other thing also on there like a io controller if your io controller is not working for keyboard your laptop is power on your laptop is working your laptop work good but for particular keyboard was not working so that time you need to replace io controller so i could be explain all of these thing uh, in our next video first of all we understand how to uh, press switch and how to work this particular address with the pressing key uh, press, uh, press key so there is a two layer one layer is a row and column so row and column between the this row and column there is a one insulator this insulator will be protect to contact together this connection so now here is a contactor here is also contactor and here is a one rubber switch so when you press this switch this contactor will be connect uh, together and this row and column cable are connected to uh, to together so this one is a particular line there is a particular row and particular column is connected together with this particular switch so that means when you press this switch our laptop io controller can be understand you are push a switch or b switch or c switch so there is no any other circuit inside this keyboard this keyboard contain only this row and column addressing and contactor now we discuss about problem problem regarding keyboard sometime you can see there is a problem so many problems we found in uh, our daily work like a particular key is not working so that time it's a problem regarding keyboard not to regarding this cable or not to our laptop motherboard if your particular one key is not working so that means it's a 100% your keyboard fault maybe particular your keypad is not working it's inside contactor is a erase or it's uh, or it's a burn out so that time you need to replace keyboard second problem is a your particular row or column is not working one or two uh, one, uh, one or two or three key is not working so that time it's a particular your cable line problem yeah or your keyboard fault if your cable is okay maybe your row or column line is a burn out or burn inside this layer so that time you also need to replace keyboard third thing if you purchase new keyboard you insert new keyboard but your particular key is not working like my previous keyboard uh, key is not working like a 3 e d and c and my newer one also this key this particular key is not working so that means there is a problem regarding or problem related your motherboard so that time you need to repair your motherboard 
and which component are problematic on this section we will be see on our next video okay let's check how to connected our laptop keyboard to our laptop motherboard so this one is a laptop keyboard connector and this keyboard connector all pins are connected with this io controller it's a super io controller so let's check it between this connector and this ic there is no any other component so if we check it uh, continuity and if we can see here is a zero continuity so that means this all connection is connected throughout the io controller there is a no any other component between this io controller and connector so let's check i am checking this pin pin number 1 and find out where is located in this super io controller okay now there is a 0 0 0 zero ohms means this line is a connected directly to the sio so same way all lines are connected with the io controller let's check another lines there is a pin number 2 another pin it's also connected another pin okay there is a also some other component like a decoupling capacitor this decoupling capacitor was used for a uh, ground unwanted frequency and uh, if it's uh, it's a short or it's a leakage so that time also keyboard particular key cannot be work so when you face problem like a keyboard is okay connector okay io controller is okay and your keyboard already uh, work well but uh, some time or some keys are not working so that time you will be remove this capacitor you just remove it and check it there is no need to put uh, another capacitor here for checking purpose you can remove this and check your problem uh, will be solved or not 